Drum at the opera. Brum's day for exploring the big town. He was brum, brum, brumming his way along the pavements when what do you think he noticed? Lots of photographs of a strange looking lady in a very funny hat. Children were being taken inside the theatre to hear the lady singing. Now, Brum didn't know what a theatre was, so he decided to go in too. But there was a big man there who said, No cars allowed in here. It's not fair, thought Brum. I want to see inside. But what do you think? Around the corner, at the back of the theatre, there was another way in. And the man guarding the door there wasn't on the lookout for little cars. Once inside the theatre, Brom followed the sound of the music, looking for the children. very happy. Brum wasn't very happy either. It was getting dark where he was. And then, what do you think happened? Brum came out on stage! There's Brum! shouted the children. Singer was furious. You! She shouted. And ran off the stage after Brum. Then, what do you think Brum saw? A pantomime horse who lived in the theatre. Please, please, show me the way out of here, cried Brum. The fierce lady singer's after me. Oh, no, said the horse. Oh, no, that's terrible. Go that way, said the back legs. No, that way, said the front legs. I haven't got time for you to make up your mind, said Brum. This is an emergency. Please let me through. And in his panic to run away, what do you think happened to Brum? His back number plate fell off. Oh, no! said the horse. Don't be frightened, little girl. Come back! But it was too late. The chase was on.
last, the fierce lady singer gave up, exhausted. And Brom found somewhere to hide. <coughs> shouted the pantomime horse. There's no need to hide, little car. Come out, see what I've got. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, said Brom. I really was all wound up, you see. Nay. Nay. And then what do you think happened? The pantomime horse did a little dance to calm Brum down. Brum, brum, brumming all the way home. 